Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sight. How the devil are you, mate? We are in for a treat today because we're looking at a channel called Oh My Gosh TV. Absolutely. But he's joint forces with Mind C TV. Oh, this is going to be a double whammy. But first, I need you to look at this, please. Please, I'm going to be doing a charity stream on Twitch, okay? It's a free account you can make on Twitch. I'd love you to come over and um, support me in this charity stream. And here's the video. He's had hard trials that I feel like a lot of people haven't really experienced. As a little kid, that's got to be tough. There's research to demonstrate that play helps healing time, it helps reduce length of stay, it allows them to thrive in an environment when they're faced with adversity. Go-karts help make gaming possible inside hospitals. They're portable video game stations that are designed specifically to address the challenges in hospital environments. Each cart is equipped with a lift mechanism, a tray for medical equipment, a screen that tilts depending on a patient's situation, and the entire cart is manufactured with medical-grade plastics. They forget about what's happening in that hospital room. They can use it to distract from a painful procedure. They use it to make the day go by faster. You've just challenged a driver. Hello, I'm Megan. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Jordan. I understand you have Ellis Danlos syndrome, is that right? Yeah. Well, um, I do as well. Oh my gosh. Or a back brace, stuff like that. That's pretty similar to me, actually. I have a backpack all the time. It's my feeding tube, along with metal braces and things. Oh, there's a corner. <laughs> I suppose what helps me is to think there's other things about me, not just the fact that I have this condition. That's awesome. What a novel and brilliant idea. A kid cooped up in a hospital room, and a cart comes rolling in with a console on it, and you can play games. That's, that's great. The use of video and virtual reality software as therapy continues to gain momentum in the medical community. If I'm not feeling good, I get on Xbox and it gets my mind off things. I've created a community of friends that I get on and I play with every night. So yes, mate, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Twitch on Saturday, 6 p.m. GMT. And it'll be amazing for you to just come over here. You don't have to donate or anything like that. It, it could just be like the numbers, uh, just to bring awareness for these kids in the hospitals, all right? I am going to put on the community tab now which game you want me to play, whether it's going to be um, Hogwarts Legacy or the uh, the theme park creating game. I can't remember off the top of my head now what it is. But anyway, it's going to be one of those two games. Uh, it'd be great to have you over there, mate. Like I say, it's a free account. You just have to just have to sign in, okay? And um and, and watch, and we're gonna have a good time. Anyway, mate, let's get back to the freaky deaky. Without further ado, dad. Oh, hang on. This the video is called "Scariest Demon Encounter at Conjuring a Cabin," featuring Mind C TV. Absolutely, mate. Make sure you go to Omar oh Gosh TV, subscribe, and do the thing. Without further ado, dad, daily day. Let's do this. Look at you, just. Ramboo it, eh? Ramboo it, mate. Fiona and Tracy, thank you so much, mate. Thank you so much. Shh. Go on, oh my God. Oh. Jesus. Go on, oh my gosh. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing, by the way. Good night. In 1839, Richard Myers, a successful banker, was determined to build his dream home in rural Georgia on a secluded piece of land with unmarked graves, despite the fact that it was built on a graveyard. <laughs> the area was known to be cursed by an evil that was conjured some years before. Mm. He purchased the land anyways and began construction over the graves of the town's dead. However, in an attempt to appease the spirits, he moved some of the human remains across the street before building. The construction oh. went well, but strange things started happening as soon as Richard and his family moved into the house. Richard tried to have his local pastor bless the house, but the spirits only became angrier and start <laughs> started tormenting him and his family. 
One night, a lightning strike hit the house, destroying it and killing Richard in the process. What? His family fled and never returned. After years of the land being abandoned, a new family built a home where the original one once stood, but it was also cursed. The new family experienced the same horrors as before and eventually left the house, asking for it to be destroyed. However, the dark entity that lived in the basement was not satisfied. It continued to haunt the house, seeking revenge on those who dared to build on its graves. Mm. To this day, no one knows what truly happened to Richard and his family, or the families who followed in their footsteps. The house remains a chilling reminder of the dangers of ignoring the warnings of the dead. Yes! A lot of you have been asking for this day to happen. All I can say is, be careful what you ask for. Mate, you don't need to do a voice change on your bloody voice, okay? Maximum deep voice, please! Okay, so I am almost at my location, which is also known as the Conjuring Cabin. Uh, this guy's a little close. Okay, I might be into some drama on my way here. <laughs> Go around me! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're really freaking. Slam on the brakes, mate! Bang! F you, man! <laughs> This door, oh my God, they just disappeared. They just disappeared. Okay. Yo! Who's over there? Get your pistol out, mate. Get your pistol out. Keep your hands on the wheel! Keep your hands on the goddamn There's wheel! There's nobody in here. Yo, you left your truck. It's gonna be mine seed, isn't it? Hey! <laughs> hey! You know what time it is. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh! Broken, bro. I've got that hoodie. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's all right. I think it looks like a nice, cute little cabin. We get up to the front and I'm... Mate, I might have to start looking at, oh my gosh, a little bit more, you know? Come on, let's go. Kind of downplaying things. We came here not really knowing what to expect. Maybe we're at the wrong place. Like, who knows? Well, from the stories, <gasps> it's like the minute that we arrived, you could tell Something was wrong. Omar puts one foot on the porch and it's like the piece of the house was immediately unsettled. We hear a bang coming from inside. Boom. And this is when I was immediately reminded and why we need to be careful. Well, from the stories. <gasps> I know you fucking heard that. Dude, was that inside? <laughs> yeah. All of us just kind of stopped and looked at each other. We didn't really know if that was like a, a welcome or like a warning not to enter. I would imagine it's going to be a warning, mate. That was loud as f Yeah. Yeah, that was inside. Great. What's up? You ready to go in? I don't know. Glad you guys are with me. Can Man, we I've got to do a hunt with you lot. I've got to do a hunt with you lot, mate. Come in. Don't knock, mate. Rambo it. Just fucking fly here, and kick right? through it. No. Oh my I mean, god, mate, that is a, that looks exactly like, um, phasmophobia level. There's a level of phasmophobia, like a map, looks exactly the same as that, mate. Living, at least. Me and Colton were super excited when we linked up with Omar. We've been looking forward to this for a while, and honestly, I wish that I could say the experience, uh, was a little bit more peaceful. I already knew this wasn't a good idea. Look at the state of this place. Hello. I mean, it looks lived in. Well, this place does not look creepy at all. You heard something? You didn't just hear that? Look at that effing owl there, mate. Look at the size of that thing. Nah, I missed it. I heard it. I felt like something was tapping and then I heard. I heard like a scrape noise just now. 
Okay, I did hear that, but I thought it was one of you guys. Uh-uh. I'm barely tiptoeing. Is there a light on in here? Yeah, it's pretty dark in here. Hey! Hey, 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 uh -uh. hey! Some Run! furniture over there just slid. The second we walked in the house, something in the dining room made this dragging noise. I hear this noise from the back of the- <laughs> <laughs> Shit in it, mate. Look at his face already. <laughs> the room. Come on. I don't know what the hell it is. A chair from the dining room just slid out into the open hallway. I think it was this chair. Yeah. Hey, did you see this? There's a baby chair there, oh. too. Yo, that looks like blood, bro. That doesn't look like, that looks like candle blood. wax or food. It's in shape of a heart. You see that? Yeah, that's, that's weird. Cool. There's a door that leads to a basement where this entity hides. Look, it's right here. Check this out. Look at it. Look, 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 look. There's salt at the bottom. Oh, they are not playing, huh? There was this line of oh salt at the bottom, and I don't know what this is supposed to do for spirits, but whatever it does, it didn't work for this spirit. And then check this out. A two-way deadbolt, it only pissed it off even more. Did they say that this worked? What does the actual, what does the salt do? I know it, it stops spirits like going past that point apparently, right? But why salt? I mean, what's the history about salt? Why don't spirits like the salt? What is that all about? Is it just spirits? Is it any spirits? Is it bad spirits? Is it demons? I don't know, but we'll find out today. They didn't tell me anything about the salt, but I assume that's why it's there. Huh? Wait a minute. Do you think that sound that we heard before we got in here? came from hey check it what oh there's scratch marks there's look at like this claw marks and sh oh, bro, this is this is for real bro this is for real oh no we've seen some shit like yeah. this before and it's not good you know it's crazy too i mean a lot of people miss stuff like this but these doors are crosses yeah Whoa. yeah that's true i miss stuff like that yeah oh yeah the huh. second that you said crosses on here uh -huh. there was a disturbance in the camera started getting scan lines this one right here. Oh, this door. Dude, yeah. It's giving me interference right no now. No way. Yeah. All right, this is definitely a spot that we probably want to pay attention to later. But like I said, whatever they tried to do here didn't work. When Omar told us that there was a door leading to a basement in the house that the family had locked and threw away the key, pretty much, uh, I think we were a bit on edge. And then we realized there was like a salt line that I think maybe a, a priest had recommended the family do, but there was scratch marks on the door. And all I could say is uh, in the past, we have experienced houses with scratches in them and it's usually not a good sign. Let's keep walking. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine it would be, mate. <laughs> Turn around, see what we got. They said they have a baby. Oh. I always knew there was something in that house. The most traumatic experience we had in that house was us being woken up to our baby screaming, crying. We went to go check on her. She was covered in sweat when I went to go pick her up. And it was odd to us because her room was freezing. Nothing we tried to do was calming her down. We knew we had to just move her into our room and keep her crib in there for a few nights, have her stay with us. Aww. Sometimes I would lay her down for naps and when I would go to check in on her, it looked like there was two babies and I'd get closer, and it was just gone. Oh, what? That's freaky as shit, mate. What the hell? Oh, God. The night that was the last straw for us, I woke up to my baby frantically screaming again. This time it was scarier. There was what looked like a woman, all dressed in black, hunched over my daughter's crib. This woman looked me dead in my eye. Oh my god! Oh, just ah! <laughs> oh fucking hell, mate! And when I ran over to her, oh, she just turned into a black mist. After that night, we left with the clothes on our backs. We were too scared to take anything from that house. I really love that home, but I'm not returning until I know whatever is there leaves. Oh my! Is it have a baby? Oh, shh. 
Okay. Hey, I let it go. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right. It's a nice place. It's not the kind of place that you would really expect this type of thing to happen. Yeah, man. I, I love all those wood cabins, mate. It's an epic. But you know what? We've been a lot of those places. Yeah. I wish I would have saw what you guys just saw. You saw it. Cool. I saw it. Yeah. You saw it. I didn't see it. What moved? I thought it was the baby carriage at first, but as soon as I walked around the table, yeah, I saw that all the other chairs are pushed in. And that one's just teed out. So this is my analysis, okay? We're pretty scared when we walked up here, right? Yeah. Didn't feel very welcome. Hey, sorry. Did you just hear like a scratch noise? I, I heard swear something. I, I just but heard a... Is that a bloody tree in the middle of the thing, mate? It's a fucking tree in there, mate. Holy, look at you with your trunk. Sound that sounded like fingernails drag. All right, look, we're getting way too paranoid. We, don't, we haven't been here that long. <laughs> like Omar's like, well, just calm it down a little bit, mate. I'm telling you, check, I heard... Check this out. This is going to make you feel good. There was a reason why this chair came out. It was almost like a welcome sign. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, look, sure. hey, like, come here, have a seat. You're in my house. Perfect. Should I sit in it? <laughs> Like, hey, I'm in your space. So shocked at how relaxed you are right now. Uh, here's the yeah. thing. Like, it, I, I don't feel like every spirit is evil all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people may feel like something's evil because it's wanting to get your attention. Sometimes these... That's a good point, Omar. That's a really good point, mate. Just because something moves, doesn't matter, you know, obviously your natural instinct is to be like, oh, shit, I mean, mine's to ramble it. But most people, do you know what I mean? But all the time, it doesn't have to be bloody like a demon bastard or something, you know? These spirit beings, they have energy and they want to share this energy with you. And sometimes like them trying to reach out to you, it may hurt you. And it wasn't intentional. It's just like they're just trying to get your attention. You feel me? I've been around peaceful entities too. But like there's blood scratch marks. They locked it in and they got salt trying to keep it in. I don't think yeah. it's friendly. That's just my <laughs> yeah. opinion. Hear me out on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to say or rule out the possibility of it not being evil. Yeah, yeah. I'm just coming into this house open-minded that I got you. there's a possibility that, I mean, maybe there's other spirits here too. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, this yeah. was That's true. over that is true. dead people. It's on top of a bunch of different graves. So there could be exactly. multiple entities coming mm. back and forth through here. There could be protectors here. Yeah, that's I mean, true. There was children. That's true. So it's letting- You're really trying to convince yourself here now, mate. <laughs> it's no, like, hey, you're welcome here. Why don't you help us get out whatever evil was conjured Almost up Almost like a good versus evil thing. You know, like maybe one of them's welcoming. Is. One of them is like, you know, I'm just trying to feel out all angles, you know? Yeah, yeah. What's upstairs? Oh, mate, I've got a funny feeling about upstairs. Shit's gonna hit the fan when you go upstairs, mate. Come on! A couple bedrooms. So we were all running our devices and trying to see if we could get some kind of activity come through. What'd it say? It said it's mine. It's mine? What's yours? Is it the house? Oh. That sounded like a kid. Look. You got bunk beds in here? It's like a kid's room? So we're upstairs on the landing, like the very top of the steps. And Casey's startled, I'm startled, I turn around and I know- <laughs> Oh man, I'm so fucking excited, it's gonna go epic. For a fact, my camera caught it. Not what I envisioned. This. Oh, what the fuck See was that? It? Are you fucking- Hey, hey, hey! Are you kidding me, mate? Oh, shit! What the Dude! No, 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 no. Yo! No, 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 no. What the? There was a really loud noise coming from downstairs. What just happened. Should we go down there? The scary part was the minute that we looked down to see what it was, you could hear clear as day, audible footsteps running, and nobody was down there. Audible stuff is one thing, but there was like a light coming out of the room, and you could see the light just disappeared. Like whatever was down there ran in and shut the door behind it. It was horrifying. Tell us through the necrophonic. Wait. 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 It said wait, clear, wait. bro. Wait for what? Whatever was just fucking running right now came from underneath that door that we did. Mate, I wouldn't be hanging over the bloody edge there, mate. A bloody ghost could just come along and push you all off. No. What was it then? Was it the boy? The clearest Quickly. word that I've heard from that thing so far was wait. 
Wait, where? I don't where? know. I don't know. It's fucking crazy. Bro, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go down there. Come on! Is there another way to get downstairs? Bro, did you hear how fucking clear that, like, you could hear someone running? It was the door that was closed on its own. Or maybe it was the basement door. Oh, yeah. The one that you was locked. Let's hey, let's go check off. that. I don't want to seem like a wuss. These are new friends of mine, Mind CTV. You know, hey, Omar, like, Omar's a tough guy, okay? Omar's a tough guy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't want to go down there. <laughs> yes, you are, mate. I mean, I don't you either. Go, you but... go first, bro. I got the camera. I'll, I'll go, go second. Go. I would go down there. But fucking bring in the Casper, mate. All right. I'm scared, bro. Yeah, who you tell him? We've never Hardest been anywhere racing. like this. Oh, God. Bro, look at my legs. I can't even control. I'm, I'm not even controlling my legs right now. <laughs> Take deep breaths. I don't want you to pass out, like, for real. That's one last person we have here. Whatever you are, you are not allowed to attack us. Yeah, the light's still on in there. Yo. What's up? Oh! No f***ing way. No f***ing way. Whatever's back there either got out or it's still back there because why would this door close? Kick it down and get in there. This is what I was worried about. I thought this door was going to open. Did y'all touch that? No. No. Most definitely not. Oh, here we go, mate. Here we go. We're going to see the... We're going to see the Hello. witch bitch. Bro, do me a favor. Yeah. You're not going to like it. Look under the bed. Oh, God. Here we go, mate. What's that under the bed? Nothing. What is that? Is that a crusty trap. sock? Oh, okay. There's a mousetrap under there? Oh, I see. Okay, I'm putting the spirit box in here. I go ahead and I lay the spirit box right inside the crib. As it's a little baby, because I know y'all be liking a little baby sometimes. So, oh. What was that? I usually don't break out the spirit box very often, but this is one place that did deserve that. Because we want to get answers. We want to help this family out. Are you upset? The devil. That said the fucking devil, bro. Right away. Immediately, I start hearing blood. Devil came out. Me and Colton are there. Casey went out the room to just kind of explore on his own. I, did, did I just hear a, a voice then? Listen, shush, shush. Where are you at right now? There. Listen. Oh, is that there? Okay, that's the that, I think that's the necrophonic thing down there. I heard you possessed a little baby. Is that true? Oh, is it baby? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is baby? Is that true? It did say baby. Oh, is it baby? Oh, is it yeah. baby? Is it baby right now, yeah. dude? Yes, there is blood. Can you light this up? This is where you're at right now? Toe. Toe. Did you grab its toe? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I look to my left and I see what is like this white foot coming from the bed and it just does this like in and out. Freaks me the hell out. What? At that point, I'm like, I'm ready to go. Something just came out under the bed right now. It almost looked like a fucking toe. Was that a rat? No way. Like a white, white, white foot. What you color? Sure it wasn't the light. The spirit box <laughs> immediately responds with this. Foot! Did you hear it? it said Dude, foot. It just said that foot. said foot. I don't see no foot under there. <laughs> Mate, fucking hell, man. <laughs> Come on! That's not a good one. What's behind the basement door? <gasps> it's me, it's me. Okay, it's you, okay. 
What happened in here? Under the bed. It was like a white foot. And immediately after, the spirit box said foot. That that habit on. What was under there, Omar? <laughs> what, what was under there? <laughs> a white foot. <laughs> Camera. I didn't see it, but it, absolutely, that thing just shouted foot. Really? Yeah. All right. Well, we need to do some tests. Like any, honestly, it's between. For me, it's between here and the chair. Yeah. Where do you want us to hang out right now? I'm intrigued. Graves. Is it Graves? Did it? Listen. Shush. And the chair. Yeah. Where do you want us to hang out right now? I'm intrigued. I'm excited. I don't know if it said Graves. I don't know if it said something like Great or something. Sorry, Graves. She said Graves. She said, Where do we want us to hang out? Right now? I have a really good idea. I have a really good idea. So I had this wild idea to split up three ways at three o'clock in the morning. Because there's a lot happening yeah. pretty much all over this house right now. Yeah, yeah. What if, let me see, what time is it? It's 2.45 right now. About 15 minutes, three o'clock, the witching hour. Yeah. Supposedly that's when things really pop yeah, anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it seems like this place is active regardless. So how about one of us spends time in here Maybe you can go to the grave. I'm cool then... with that. I'm all right getting out of here for a little bit. Yeah. When we decided to split up and go our separate ways, kind of comfortable at first going to the cemetery just because of the activity in the house, it was a bit disturbing. Do you want to go out back where the unmarked graves Oh yeah, because there's are? unmarked graves on the property all over here. Alone? Right. All right, we should right. be looking here. Yeah, hey, look. All right, then. Yeah, no, be safe. We ain't got no service, so. Oh. All right. Hey. Well, Splitting up at three o'clock. Uh, Back in here. All right. Well, I'm guessing. Hell. I'm, I'm flying solo. Solo, solo. Three a.m. Hello. I swear, sometimes on these investigations, you literally gotta stop and ask yourself. What am I doing out here? <laughs> mate, I love the editing and the music and the build up and everything, mate. This is epic. Oh my gosh. By the way, if you want to see the uh, podcast with Omar Gosh, go over to Casper Vision and check it out. <laughs> oh, thank you. Coming in here. If there's anything in here, I'm just trying to communicate. Brought this device with me. <laughs> Hello, don't come this way. Tim. What's that? Tim. Oh, mate, look at the state of this place. Is your name Tim? Oh, no. If there's someone here with me, you can use your energy to talk into here. Please don't startle me. Throw it, log! There's sticks and leaves. All sorts of shit I'm not trying to be around right now. No, uh-uh. Okay, I'm here. Oh, mate. I'm all yours. I'm gonna sit in that chair that you wanted me to sit in. Mm. Why did you want me to sit in this chair? Okay, I'm pretty sure that just said F you. Yeah, that's morning. what I thought. <laughs> what has been bothering this family in this house? Why is this land so cursed? Oh, I hate that. that. That's the voice I hate, mate. I mean, that, I, the little whisper. Did you just say my mom's name? You better leave my mom alone. 
No, yeah, exactly. No. Ghosts. There are ghosts in this house. From what I hear. What? Good night. Oh! Oh, night. Look! Good night. Mate, a bloody block from Jenga just jumped out, mate. Playing fucking playing Jenga out there. Clearly shit at playing Jenga. It sounded like someone just whispered out here something. But once I started walking over oh. to the graveyard, the ease of mind of being out of the house kind of dissipated because being over there completely alone. There's a fucking playground out here. Yeah, that's weird, mate. A playground right next to a bloody grave. That's weird, mate. Who really, like, brings their kids out here to play in the cemetery? I just saw a flash of light back there. There's I like didn't. a light flickering over there. Kelly. Hey. I was out here by myself, and this is the first building that was built over all of the unmarked graves. So the second I even start mentioning it, Bobless kicks out Tim, Kelly, and Harry. Kelly, hey. Tim and Kelly. Is that who I'm standing on top of right now? Oh, mate. I'm cranking this, I'm sorry. Huh? A lot of random words coming through the obelisk and never concurrently do I get names, especially when I'm talking about people that are buried below the surface. Was that you? You stay over there. Mate, if that happened, man, if that really happened, I'd be like, motherfucker, I'm gone, I'm gone. You don't come near me. Stay there. <laughs> He's shitting at me, isn't he? Demon. Room, room. What's that? You want me to go in the room? That's what you want? Go see. Okay, uh, why, why do you want me to go in the room? He's having a full on bloody conversation with this thing. Do it. Okay, you have my attention. Oh my Congratulations. gosh. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Mate, it's about to go to town. Shush. A freaking mouse in here. Oh, mate. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So, this is where you want me. Here I come. I think it's just a street light. Not that big of a deal, but I am hearing voices out here. I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute and see if I can hear anything on camera. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> that sounded like something just growled at me. I, I heard that, I heard that. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> that sounded like something just growled at me. I'm good. That was like okay. close, and it sounded like a fucking growl. I'm straight. <laughs> if any of you are trying to startle me or you're trying to communicate with me, I can hear you moving over there. All right, I'm in here. I can feel it. 
coming in the air tonight. Oh, Lord. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Hello? Oh! Is anyone in here? Oh my gosh! You missed it, mate! Fucking missed it! What do you want? Are you hiding under the bed? Okay, I'm gonna look. Maybe it wanted me to go into this room to be safe from whatever was out there, trying to, who knows, maybe possess me. I'm gonna see if these guys got everything they needed. They missed the white sheet just dropping, mate. Here, cause I'm good. What was the deciding factor for me to head back to the house and meet up with the guys was when I heard like a very low kind of growl and it sounded like it was coming from within the cemetery. It didn't sound like something in the distance. It sounded like something that was like very close to me. And that's when I said, you know, this, I'm going back to the house to meet up with the other guys. Oh. Okay, the salt is still Get the down there. Nothing's changed. I don't know what this is right here. I mean, it could have been an animal. I'm not ruling that out. Yeah, man, I'm good. No way. Omar. Yeah, man, not by myself. Jenga over there in the corner completely just like, it just got destroyed. Something happened with him here in the barn. He's talking, I mean, it's like we're all talking at once. Casey comes rushing in and he's got something to say. As I was explaining to them what I had witnessed at the cemetery, I look up and I saw this figure. It was like a head looking out of the room on the what? top landing. Something looked like it was looking around that doorway right there. You saw something? Yeah. Come out. Come out right now. Come on, witch, bitch. Oh my oh. fucking god, man! Run! Come out right now! Oh! Oh! oh. oh. What's happening? Dude, look, the door! The door! I'm leaving. Whatever was up there just fucking charged us. You could hear it running oh, down. Oh, mate, imagine if that shit happened, mate! Oh! Hell no! <laughs> and by the time it hit the bottom of the steps, it was like this force just like hit my chest. I've been to it's a like thousand a fucking sonic boom. Different places, super haunted places. I've never felt something feel like an explosion in my chest. We've experienced phantom footsteps before. We've even experienced like charges of energy coming towards us, but nothing ever as powerful <laughs> that is enough to knock three grown men on their ass. Oh, so all three of them went down? I will personally never, ever, ever return to this place. Like this right now, this is as close as I'll ever be. I Bring me in there, mate. I fucking rambo that shit. I would have just blocked it and counterattacked. I would have been like, <laughs> <laughs> what I would have done. I knew right away that like, either we did something really good or we did something really bad. Maybe we made things worse too. Yeah, uh, here we go. Yo, all three There's another of us. video going on right oh. now in case you missed it on Mind Seed TV's channel completely different night exclusive video with me in it that you will not see anywhere else but their channel you're gonna see a pop-up right here that's where you can go watch that ex seen it mate bloody epic it was there you go mate oh my gosh Ooh, baby that was bloody brilliant thank you so much for watching if you did like the video please leave a little like and if you're new to the channel subscribe because it's free and i'll see you on the next one take care bye bye get the merch at caspersite.com 
just Rambo it. 